Hi guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So I thought I would do a vlog and take you guys along with me because Christmas is literally just around the corner. Um, I'm not doing Vlogmas this year because I totally forgot. Plus, I wasn't doing anything interesting anyways. Um, but yeah, so Christmas. I love Christmas. This time of year, it's like festive season. Not for religious reasons, but more because it's time spent with like family and friends. So have good food, good company. Although this year is slightly different. We're actually a bit lost this year. We don't have a lot of things planned because it's the first Christmas. Christmas without my grandma and my grandma's kind of like the glue in our family she just brings everyone together but now this is the first Christmas she's not here most of my family gone overseas um like my aunties and uncles and some cousins and things so mm. and that also thank for New Year's and so normally New Year's Day we go visit family but yeah, we're all kind of a bit lost this year, to be honest. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, so by the time this goes up, it's going to be Christmas Day. So I thought I'll share with you um, just days leading up towards Christmas. And yeah, this is the first Christmas for Isabel as well. So I love traditions and I want to keep on doing it. So I think we're going to start new traditions um, just for our family as well. So we don't have a lot planned. Maybe just like a lunch with my parents my family and also like a late afternoon catch up with my girlfriends but apart from that everything is kind of up in the air um depending on weather and see who else is free um but yeah so today is wednesday um it's currently just past midday i've been up since seven o'clock i'm actually up i get like four five hours sleep every night here and there um, but normally we don't get out of bed till 12 anyway. But today I had an appointment with um, the maternal nurse to check up on Isabel because she's 12 weeks this Friday. So crazy. She amazes us all the time. Um, but yeah, so she's doing really, really well. I'm currently breastfeeding right now, um, which is why I'm kind of like everywhere. But, but yeah, so she it's kind of hard to explain because she was one month early um, how things work. But based on her current age being 12 weeks or so almost three months she's doing well she's in the 50th percentile so she's pretty much average um in terms of weight and height but for her corrected age or adjusted age for being two months she's in the 70 to 90 percentile so she's doing really really good i'm really happy with her um but yeah so we're up early for that and then we came home i had um, brunch and then she did massive poop that went everywhere so I had to give her a quick bath so I'm just giving her a feed now which she's kind of fallen asleep on me um, but after this so we are planning on going Christmas shopping tonight um, we don't have a lot planned because Cal is also working this like he doesn't have any like days off during the weekday which is kind of hard so we're going to see how things go um, but we're planning on going to do some last minute Christmas shopping um, mostly for KK presents like Bad Santa. We went Christmas shopping last Saturday for us because we don't really have anything to buy anyone, just us anyway. Um, which was actually pretty good. It was the first time we went out with like Isabel for a whole day. She did really, really well. Um, so we spent like eight hours there um, shopping, but we thought we'll just do some last minute KK shopping tonight so i'm planning on taking both coco and isabel for a little walk before we go and before Ken gets back just to drain coco out a bit because i don't like leaving him at home um all night when he's like bored so that's the plan for today um hopefully it all goes well by the way this is the current state of my hair as well so it hasn't been too bad like it's kind of faded to this like rose gold which isn't too bad but i might buy like a rinse to put it in it's so hard though like if I don't have to go out, it looks like a mess. Like, I look like a total frizzball. But if I style it, it's not too bad. Just a little bit hard maintaining it. But yeah, that's life, I guess. Okay, so a bit of a slow start because we all end up taking a nap. But how cute are my babies? actually good afternoon because it's quarter past one but we just got out of bed we just rolled out 
Um, we had a little bit of a snooze this morning, a little bit of a sleep in, because we actually didn't really have anything planned today. And we had a big one yesterday, so we were out early yesterday, so we woke up early for that. But today we didn't really have anything planned, so we decided to snooze in. Um, I had a little bit of sleep in, and plus it took like two hours to settle her to bed last night. Once she's in bed, she's fine, but it's just that initial... I had to hold her for like two hours and my arm was sore. I was so tired and exhausted. So it was good to just kind of sleep in. Um, I did have an early visit this morning anyways at about nine o'clock. Um, I had a guy come to do some quotes. Um, and then we went back to bed and took a little nap. I just finished brunch, had some leftover green curry. Um, also got this package in the mail from Social Soup. I already just opened the box, but inside is a whole lot of Audi products. I love getting free things. Like my channel is very small right now that I don't get a lot of like, you know, scent free stuff. I don't even have like a peer box or anything. <laughs> but like, yeah, so this is the stuff that I bought. So I've got some, um, this is the Aldi brand Mamiya baby stuff. So I got some diapers. This is up to five kilos, which I don't think she will be able to wear because she's 5.5. Um, she also has some up to five kilo Huggies one, which unfortunately I have to stop using because they're too small for her. So I've also got some six to 11 kilo diapers and some wipes as well. So this is scented fragrance free wipes as well as, ooh, extra thick. So these are pretty cool. I love getting free stuff. Um, these are all pretty much, it's good timing actually because I'm running out of diapers. So lucky we haven't been, we haven't had to buy diapers, nappies or anything because um, we're given a whole lot from our baby shower. So we had a lot of thank you ones as well as Huggies ones. And I have used the um, Aldi ones because I bought that to play a game for my baby shower. And I really like the, um, the, the Aldi ones actually because they're really soft like Huggies, but Huggies get really expensive. The thank you ones I wasn't a big fan of because it wasn't as soft. Um, and it kind of felt like paper. So I wasn't sure whether it was good for her or not. And I was telling everyone, don't get the thank you ones because they're not that greatest. But now that I think about it, to be honest, I think they're not bad. Only because when I change a diaper, I kind of like to be efficient and quick. So I have one hand holding her legs. The other hand, I kind of do everything. So after she's done, after I've done wiping her, I'll kind of do a roll and a flip or the tags to make a triangle, so I can just chuck it in the bin. Um, the thank you ones were actually good with that, but when I finished the thank you ones and moved to the Huggies, it actually didn't work out well because for some reason the Huggies nut diapers, like the back bit will just curl in. So by the time you're rolling it ready to, I guess, tag it down, the tags will get stuck on the diapers or the wipes that you use and it's just really, really messy. So I'm on the market of searching for new set of diapers now that I'm going to have to buy them. Um, the Huggies are quite expensive, so I was going to move on to the Aldi one, so I thought I'll give it a go. Yeah, so so happy when I get free, like get like packages in the mail. Lately, I've been buying a whole lot of stuff online, um, especially those midnight, like those dream feeds at like 3, 4 or 5 in the morning. Um, I'm always feeding her my bottled breast milk and then I'll express and pump and then during those times or when I'm awake I'm just online shopping a lot so I've received a whole bunch of clothes and stuff for her um, also didn't realize I buy clothes online when like boohoo I'm misguided or like pretty little things have their like 50% off sales I'm like it's not like I actually go out where I wear a lot of them so I guess I gotta start wearing clothes rather than like home clothes like today I'm wearing like I've been wearing this a lot just shorts and like this top because it's just easy to take on and off when I pump or feed her and nowadays as well like this is a bit of TMI but this morning when the if I don't have to get out or I don't expect anyone usually at night I just sleep in my underwear because I get really hot at night but I find it hard kind of just waking up and just getting ready you know taking your time and getting ready so if I know someone's coming early in the morning I don't I generally lately just been sleeping in like clothes I'm gonna wear the next day just to like save time like I know it's a bit gross and like a bit of TMI but it kind of works like it just saves that extra couple of minutes of actually like you know getting dressed um, especially like when you don't want to get out of bed but someone knocks for a delivery and delivery and won't leave it behind without a signature that's annoying um, but yeah, so nothing else planned for today. Got to do some cooking. Oh, I want to show you as well our Christmas decoration. So this year I'm going really low-key and bare minimal. Like this is pretty much all I have 
for Christmas. Um, I got these. So normally I have like the 24 advent calendar here, but instead I'm just putting out the stocking. So I got these ones ages ago, but I bought these new ones for the kids. So one for Isabel and one for Coco. I had one for Coco, like a, just a generic one from a reject shop last year and the year before. But I thought since I was going to get Isabel's name, I'll get one for Coco. So that's all we've got. And I've also got the Christmas tree. So usually I have little things here and there decorate the whole house. But this year I figured it'll be hard and it's just hard cleaning up. And with like Isabel's stuff around the house, yeah, they'll just keep it bare minimal. So even the tree decoration, like you pretty much see this every year because I use the same decoration, nothing special. Um, but I put less up this year just so it's easier to take down and um, up. Also, we weren't going to do Christmas presents this year, but we thought, you know what, it's her first Christmas. Also, because kids stuff are so cute, like Audi had a sale on a lot of wooden toys, and I think I want to get more wooden toys for her. So even though she won't be able to use some of these, like I think it'd be cute just to have presents under the tree. And plus, my cousin went, came back from London and bought some few stuffs for her, so I thought, you know what, let's just do some Christmas presents. The good thing is I don't really have to get anyone else presents because... We don't really do Christmas with anyone else and plus everyone else is overseas this year. So that's pretty much it. So um, I think what I'm going to do now is just clean up a bit. I think she's due for a feed now anyway. And even though we've got like feeding and sleep routine somewhat, um, I want to schedule more like tummy time. Even though she like does a lot on our chest, like just tummy time, play, be more active with like games and stuff. So I might just do that um, because she is at that age where she's starting to be more aware. She's starting to smile and talk, like baby talk here and there, and also follow you with her eyes as well. So it is now 7.30 um, this afternoon. Literally just spent the afternoon um, preparing dinner in between um, settling, cuddling Isabel, feeding her and pumping. Um, but yeah, so tonight we're having Vietnamese inspired salad and grilled pork. Just got everything prepared. So I'm just going to mix everything together so we can eat. I'll show you what we're eating. So most of these, this is the grilled pork that Kyung just cooked up. So I marinated earlier before um, and just cooked that up. So in my salad, I've got some greens, like some basil, mint, coriander, um, some green, a lot of these, bean sprouts, and I've also got some carrots, cucumber, and I've also added in capsicum and purple cabbage because I like colourful salads. Um, I've got some vermicelli needles, and I've also got some dried um, fried onion and garlic peanuts, and also I just made the um, fish sauce, which is a bit hot. I should have made it earlier, actually. So I'm just going to whip these all together and mix it so in with the salads it's actually quite a lot and the noodles so the noodles because i cooked these earlier i mixed um sesame oil in it just so it doesn't get stuck together and so there is like a lot of salad actually so hopefully should have enough for tomorrow as well just mixed it together and i haven't put the sauce yet. i actually gave the sauce a little cold bath just to cool it otherwise it was still a bit hot and it could um burn the salad so just drizzle never know how much is how much sauce i also added some chili flakes in here as well this was like a cheats Dipping sauce. I use sugar, fish sauce, um, rice wine vinegar, water, and chili flakes. So that should be enough. Well, I've got leftover sauce just in case. And then I'm gonna top it up with my fried shallot. And ta da! That is dinner sorted. This is the salad. Looks so pretty. I'm gonna eat it with the pork. Mm. It's so refreshing. Especially in summer, so tasty too. So while I was pregnant, I was obsessed with watching the ASMR eating shows on um, Instagram. 
No, I was obsessed. Like at night, when I was trying to act when I couldn't sleep, I was like watching them all night. So I'm thinking of actually starting to do some ASMR videos. So let me know if you are interested. Let me know if you have any ideas of what to eat. But I can't wait. I love, I don't know, something satisfying about listening to someone eat. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really like it. Good afternoon. So it is now Friday. Um, just had lunch, leftover salad from yesterday. Um, Isabel's had her milk, Coco's had his food, and we were ready for the rest of the day. We had a really long sleep in today. Isabel actually had like nine hours sleep, surprisingly. It was like her record. Um, but I was super tired, and my back for some reason was super sore. So we just spent the pretty much the whole morning in bed. Um, don't have any much plans on. My cousin, some cousins coming over for dinner tonight. Um, just having taco night, so I just got to prep for that. Um, in between, maybe wrap a few presents. Oh, someone's dreaming. Maybe wrap some few presents, and that's pretty much today. So I just chopped everything up in preparation for our taco night. So we're going to be having standard beef tacos, also some fish mango salsa tacos, and also making my veggie um, salsa as well. So that's all ready. Look how bad the weather is. I don't know if you can see. It's like pouring rain outside. Ugh, so gross. And it's only like quarter past four so i'm just wrapping up some presents um while listening to christmas playlists on youtube so i didn't have that much presents because it's kyung and i we decided to just go and buy our own gifts and put it under the tree also bought um isabel <gasps> forgot to buy coco's present anyway so yeah so i forgot to buy coco's present gotta get that um, just so he feels included when we open Christmas presents. But the other thing I had to do was buy Bad Santa presents for KK. And this year I bought this book. This is by Zoe Foster Blake. No one likes a fart. Because um, the budget was $20 and it's really hard finding presents under $20. Like normally Bad Santa, I think it's a waste of time because you're buying, spending literally $20 on junk. Because you know after that it doesn't get used or whatnot. But since most of my girlfriends have kids, um, or will be having kids. I thought this would be a good book just to add in the collection. It's something that, you know, is educational in a way because you can read it, what so. I love traditions and every year as a tradition, I always make little, I guess, Christmas ornaments. Um, something that I actually make to contribute um, and give to my friends. Just something small. Um, yeah, so this year, the ornaments I made were little eggplants. <laughs> Now, my girlfriends and I had like an inside joke. So if you know the um, eggplant emoji symbolizes something else. So I thought it'd be funny to make eggplant in, um, ornaments this year. So all my friends are getting, all my close friends are getting some ornaments from me. Um, not sure whether they'll get it because I've got a couple of groups of friends, but everyone's getting it. So I made like heaps of them. Um, I started early this year, but I made like tons of these. So. I'm thinking maybe I should just start making my own Christmas ornaments or maybe next year I'll do like continue with the fruit theme. I don't know, but like these are all the eggplants that I made here and there while watching Netflix or just like, you know, chilling on the couch while I was pregnant. So yeah, everyone is getting that from me this year. Morning, or should I say afternoon? I have to stop saying morning because we never wake up before noon anyways. But today is Saturday and today we actually were to go, um, we were planning to go cherry picking because it's an annual tradition, but the weather was so bad last night and this morning it was forecast to rain. So even if it wasn't raining because it was like heavily pouring this morning, it would have been messy and wet to pick anyways and hard with Isabel with us. And plus we were short amount of time because we have Christmas lunch, like late lunch, early dinner with my girlfriend. So we decided we might go after um, on Boxing Day maybe to go cherry picking. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do this time of year. So we really want to go, but we just can't, don't have the time to go before Christmas. So I'm, yeah, Isabel's crying right now because we're just about to head out. Um, we are on our way to my friend's house. Um, my funny pack is having a little catch up. So I'm showing what I'm wearing because I don't know how I feel about it. 
So this is my outfit of the day. It actually, I bought this from Pretty Little Things. I haven't bought anything from there before, so I put it in an order recently. And this is like a two-piece, like a shirt and pants. Um, I thought it'd be good to look like a jumpsuit, like the picture. So I'll insert the picture there of what it's meant to look like, which is completely different because I'm short and fatter, but... I guess it doesn't look that bad. Maybe I should have gotten a small size. But the shit thing is, because I thought that having a jumpsuit is hard to pee, but having like a two-piece is easier, that you can easier to pee. But yeah, the shit thing is though, I've realized that even though they're the same fabric, same pattern, they're actually two different colors. So the top is slightly darker than the bottom is slightly more pale green, which is kind of weird. But I don't think I'll get the chance. For some reason, I buy like the most outrageous outfits online, especially because... Um, you know, when you've got the really late feeds or early pumpings, uh, there's nothing to do but shop online. So I buy the weirdest things intention to, you know, look pretty to go out, but I don't actually go out at all. So I thought, you know, this may be the only time I get to wear this. But yeah, that's my outfit of the day. The glamorous side of being a mum, pumping milk in the car, finding any time to pump. Today is Sunday the 23rd. We are on our way for lunch with my parents right now. Um, it's a nice sunny day. A little cool, but it's really still a nice day. Um, after lunch, not sure what we're doing, so we might head to the city if the weather's good and take Isabel to see the Maya Christmas windows. Um, yeah, hopefully the weather holds up and it's a nice day. So today is Christmas Eve and it's stinking hot right now. It's like over 30 degrees. So we're just chilling today at home. Don't have any plans. I'm just gonna have a quiet one at home because it's too freaking hot. I might actually have to step out though to go Kmart because I forgot to buy a cocoa present. So I'm waiting for Cam to come home so we can tag team and I can go hit the shops um, and he can look after the kids. But I just got some packages in the mail. These are like last minute Christmas stuff that I got for Isabel as well, as well as, yeah, like ever since um, Isabel's been home with us, I've been buying a lot of stuff online um, between feeds really early in the morning. Um, I've gotten a lot of things so far, but this is the last of what I had um, in mind. But I bought this online, how cute is I saw this on um, in store and it's like 60 something dollars and it kept popping up on Facebook as well. Click home, no, it's not yours. So I thought this would be super cute for Isabel. It's like one of those um, elephants with like the floppy ears that go up and down. I wonder if this has battery in it already. I don't think there's batteries in it yet. Not surprised. But yeah, so hopefully she likes this. She's not very, um, it's really hard to get her attention right now. Her attention span's not exactly the longest. So hopefully she likes this. This is like the best $18 spend. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Today is Christmas Day. It's Tuesday. The sun's out and we're out and about. It's almost midday. We just got out of bed. Had a bit of a mishap this morning because Coco threw up. Ugh. But yeah, today is Christmas. So excited. Get to open our presents later. Might just get a bit settled first because we just got out of bed. Um, and then open some presents. Need some whipped feta dip. This is inspired by a restaurant we went to for our anniversary. It's whipped feta with raw honey and ducka, ducka seasoning, don't know how to pronounce that, and some bruschetta, and it is delish. Mm.
So that is Christmas 2018. Just opened up our presents. Everyone got a little bit of something, something. Coco already within five minutes ripped up his Christmas present, but I didn't expect it to last long anyway. This Christmas for my birthday and Christmas, I got a pair of espadrillas. Been wanting them for ages. And also got a whole lot of Hello Kitty stuff. <gasps> Anyway, so that is Christmas 2018. Probably going to end it here. Um, hope you like this vlog. Thanks for following. Merry Christmas. Hope you have a happy, festive, joyful Christmas spent with family and friends. And hope you guys have a safe, chilled New Year as well. So until next video, thanks for watching. Bye.